Everyone's obsessed with AI right now, but 99% of people are using it completely wrong. They're asking ChatGPT to write captions, while a few of us are using it to print money. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five ways you can turn AI into actual cash. So if you've been stuck wondering how do people actually use AI and make money with it, this video is going to be perfect for you. Let's get straight into it. So the very first secret I'm going to be showing you when it comes to AI is using ChatGPT Atlas to build a ruthless funnel assistance. Now how this works is if you're starting out and you don't really know what offers work, you don't really know what marketing you should be doing to get clients and stuff like that, why try and figure it out for months and fail when you can just go to someone who is already succeeding and put in the prompt I'm going to give you and what you're going to get back is an actual funnel that you can run today that is proven and will get you clients and will make you money so how this works and this works for any niche any offer you could be selling agency services freelancing coaching it doesn't really matter this is like insane um, because you can skip the guesswork but what you what you're going to do is put in uh, a prompt so if I show you this prompt and I go up to the top I basically said to ChatGPT Atlas, um, which is a browser if you aren't familiar with it, that you are a ruthless funnel analyst and copy architect. So when you give a competitor's landing page URL, ad handle or membership page, it will reproduce their funnel logic. It will give us a visual diagram of their top of the funnel, middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel. So essentially how they get strangers to find out about them, which is top of the funnel awareness. Then you have middle of the funnel, which is how strangers like, know and trust them and yeah, just build trust over time. And then bottom of the funnel is how they actually get people to give them money. So you're going to get a visual diagram, which I showed you of that. And this works for any niche. Like there are people helping roofing companies. There are people helping real estate professionals. And all you have to do is just search on Google, like real estate marketing or roofing marketing. And you'll find these people and you'll be able to dissect their funnel and get AI to do all the work for you to be able to create a competitor funnel map and we use mermaid which is a tool um, that's very easy to use because you just copy the code that it gives you and if you stick to the end of this video I'll, I'll explain how you can get your hands on this prompt and so many other prompts that are coming up which is going to blow your mind this is just scratching the surface of what we've got on how to use AI to make money um, but hopefully this makes sense because if you're a beginner this is logically the first place to start you need a funnel you need a way to get people to find out about you get business owners to find out about you and I just like this because you can see that it puts it into like a nice diagram so you're clean and you're clear on what you actually have to do from this point on. Um, so that's like his funnel, you can see. And I'd used a guy called Ben who helps, I don't know, local business owners um, with Facebook ads. And that's like his funnel. So for example, he posts YouTube content. He does tutorials, case studies on YouTube. That goes to a free lead magnet, which is a free meta ads guide. But for you, it could be like a free AI guide. Um, he obviously does email nurture tips in that and then he runs retargeting ads to that warm audience to book in a one-to-one -one strategy call and then he obviously sells his service so that's like his funnel for example when he's just like a paid ads expert okay so i'm going to move on to the second way to use ai to actually make money and this is an amazing tool that i recently discovered called revid ai and i made a short form video about this and it popped off it got like close to a hundred thousand views now thousands of likes i think um so that's like super sick and how this works is it's basically just a platform where you can get insights into trending content so for example if you go onto revid just search it on google and you go onto the left and you search for or you don't even search you can just literally click the repurpose under the inspiration and you can search for like any topic that you want to make content about and i'm going to show you a way to literally get proven virality so if you want to go viral it's like you can do this on youtube shorts tiktok instagram to promote your product service offer like it really is this easy you don't need to reinvent the wheel just like what i was explaining with chat the atlas and like using it as a funnel hack you can do this but it's a bit more powerful because it's actually got more specific like strategy to it so for example this chat GPT atlas that i showed you is great for getting an idea of the funnel that works in your niche but now we actually need to like create content and get strangers to find out about us get attention so that can be done through this um so for example if we just search for like ai agents to keep it really simple let's say you want to sell like an ai receptionist or an ai um, mm -hmm. customer support these are like the most popular videos that have gone viral on ai agents and if you go down here um okay. you can see that like all of these are proven so you can get an idea for what actually works in your market but what we're going to do is take it up a level so for example if we take like um i don't know let's do this video for example they've got a ridiculous amount of likes or views. So you can see 395,000 views, 14,000 likes, 
and you literally get the script right here. So what you can do is copy this and you can very easily just open up ChatGPT, which everyone has access to pretty much, and just say, recreate, so recreate me this script, um, but make it in a different style and tone. Go here, paste it in. And what you're going to get is like a proven script, basically, based off this, um, that is bound to go viral if you, if you follow a similar, like, I guess, format to it. So like, this is very like UGC, oh, AI agent should um, be. and stuff like that. So you can see you flip the camera. First, you should have AI heads of department. So it's very like educational UGC related. So yeah, I think that is amazing. And that's actually what we're exper experimenting with on my IG and it's working very well. I'm getting like a hundred followers per day which is crazy i'm actually going to drop a youtube video soon on that so definitely subscribe a lot of you aren't subscribed so if you want more value that i'm going to be giving you just subscribe but let's move on to the step uh the third way in which you can use ai to actually make money and this is going to be an amazing one so the third way you can make money with ai is understanding who you're helping and understanding their pain points better than they do themselves and how you do that is with this prompt and it's basically a pain minor agent so pretty much everything you buy on a day-to-day -day basis is because of a pain point you're buying water because you're thirsty or you know you'll be thirsty you're buying food because you're hungry or you know you'll be hungry and if you really boil it down pretty much everything you buy on a day-to-day -day basis is to do with pain um, now what we can do is put in this prompt to find out the biggest pain points in your niche so you can get people to buy you uh sorry buy your products or service a lot easier so in this case we're targeting like real estate agents or you know residential commercial agents or it could be property consultants it could be just any real estate professionals as an example however you can do this for any niche um you just need to plug and play the actual like yeah niche and demographic and stuff like that who you're going to be serving um, but what it's going to do is research platforms like Reddit, so specific forums like Realtors or Real Estate or Real Estate Investing um, and stuff like that, also Facebook groups. And it's going to do a five-stage research process, which is a deep search and data extraction. So it's going to search Reddit and other discussion boards for the last six to 12 months using these query templates. Like, I hate being a realtor because, or how do I get more real estate leads? Or why is real estate so hard? Uh, anyone else struggling with like, XYZ and it's going to be able to yeah collect quotes um on why they're struggling and also things you can do to actually like solve them as well so this is amazing as you can see like it's a very very in-depth prompt that I'm going to be giving you um so let's go down here and you can see it's already created it um so this is like the first like pain cluster is I can't find consistent qualified leads anymore um and you can see these are literal quotes from realtors or brokers explaining their problems clients ghost after showings and never reply um social media is exhausting and doesn't bring clients you're literally getting problems and these are not like based on theories these are what people have said who are who you want to help so all you need to do is reverse an amazing offer around it so your offer mechanisms could be like a lead gen plus ai solution AI to do the follow-ups and to lead nurture. And then lead gen would be just traffic you get for them. So you're bringing in leads and then AI qualifies them. So you can build an offer around what these people are struggling with. Um, so everyone's scared to buy. So that's why you need trust building assets and them to have a brand. So it's like, hopefully this explains the, the thing I'm trying to get at. And it's just so crazy. You can see you have the pain cluster right here um, of intensity and frequency. So like inconsistent leads, clients ghosting, social media exhaustion, market slowdown, AI and automation confusion, and you get the intensity of how like big of a pain point it is. So this is crazy. And this is just scratching the surface. I'm going to show you the next uh, two ways you can make money with AI. So definitely keep watching, but hopefully you're finding this valuable. If you are, just subscribe and yeah, we'll keep this moving. Down to the last two ways. And what I've done is actually saved one of the best ones for last. And it is going to be a lead generation prompt using ChatGPT Atlas, but you can use Claude Agent as well for this. But essentially what we want is a list of personal decision makers in your niche with the personal email, the phone number, the LinkedIn, and any other information you can request in the prompt. But you can see that we've gone for like HVAC 
uh, businesses and we've been able to find like yeah the president or the director and you can get a list of like 50 100 maybe even 250 pretty easily for free if you have charged the atlas like i don't see why you wouldn't be using this you may have to go back and forth with the actual like um prompt a few times to get it to output something like this but just to show you what prompt it is um, and bear in mind all the prompts I've shown in this video, you can find in my free training, which is yeah, completely free. I'm not charging anything for it. I want to give you, I want to give just value to you guys, and all you have to do is put in your email, so we can send it over to you. Um, but that will be like the first link in the description. But that is like how you get access to these prompts because you can see these are very in-depth prompts. Um, so yeah, it's a lead finding agent. You can change the niche, you can change the geo, you know, country. You can change the title if you want. Um, and also volume, like intent window. So if you want to actually find uh, businesses that put out like job postings for like a marketing expert or whatever, you can do that. Um, now this one, you can just put like use available or use like uh, business directories like Yellow Pages, um, Yelp and all the other ones out there, even Google. Um, and it's going to output hopefully as a format like this which is what we want in like a CSV, but you may have to ask it to just provide a column so you can get it like how I did. And I had to request that after because it forgot. But yeah, for the most part, it's pretty solid. Um, and it's going to give you just leads so you don't really have to scrape yourself. Um, and it can even give like a confidence score and stuff like that. Um, so let's move into the final one because I don't want to waste any time. And this is going to be a great Chrome extension that I think everyone should be using called Tampa Monkey. Now, in 2026, moving into 2026, it's not really what you do. It's what you don't do, right? There are so many distractions. Instagram, YouTube, the average session time on YouTube is around 45 minutes, meaning you go on YouTube once, you're likely to spend 45 minutes on average on that platform. So what we need to do is have a Chrome extension like Tampa Monkey where you can find scripts and code that people have built to essentially block certain things or curate their own algorithm on YouTube and everything like that is possible with Tampa Monkey. Um, so you can see over 11 million people use this. It is a great tool that not many people know about. It's a bit of a gem. Um, but how it works is once you download it, you can just go onto Google, search for Tampa Monkey, click on the Chrome extension, just download it and you'll be able to see it. Like you can see, I've got it right here. You can either find new scripts. So what this means is people have already built like um, I guess code or scripts you can just use. So for example, if we search for like YouTube, oh, there we go. Let's search for like YouTube focus, for example, if you want to block out distractions on YouTube. So whenever you load up YouTube, we want it to actually just show us like nothing. So we're not going to get, uh, into that like, um, rabbit hole of watching, binge watching YouTube videos. You can see here that, um, we have like YouTube focus mode and someone using greasyfork.org has been able to build an actual script and you can just click install script. And if I show you what this looks like, if I open up YouTube real quick, you're going to see how many distractions and how much dopamine there is. But because I have Tampa Monkey, it doesn't actually load up. So imagine like I was wanting to procrastinate on making this video and I was going to, I was going to be like, cool, I'm going to go on YouTube to procrastinate. Boom, nothing happens. So now I'm getting back to work. But this works for Instagram, it works for Facebook. Whatever you are struggling with, set up a script on Tampa Monkey, just like what I've shown you. Um, and people have already built the scripts for you. As you can see, you can just search for like different things as well. Um, and that is just amazing because you're not going to get into that uh, procrastination state. And that's what Tampa Monkey does. It's like you can do anything on it though. This is just like a YouTube focus example, but hopefully that makes sense around using it for other things like maybe Instagram or Facebook if you wanted to block the feed um, and stuff so you can actually get work done and do your deep work. So hopefully you found that, you know, this tool valuable, but also all the other prompts and stuff I've given you in this video valuable. Um, and obviously check out the free training if you want to download the prompts and just get access to more resources to help you actually get clients um, and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Definitely subscribe. 76% of you aren't subscribed, so that would help me a lot. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And in return, I'll pump out better content and just more value and more frequency for you guys. Um, yeah, if you do me that favor. So yeah, also, I guess you can watch some videos up here that I'll put. And I'll catch you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.